Welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back. I have missed you. I don't know the last time I saw you, but I've missed you. All right, guys, I am stepping up my game. I am so excited. I literally started on chintzy cheap. I think that's the same word, right? Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Heat presses from Amazon, which are great. We did the five in one. We did the claw shell, and after having the five in one, honestly, I missed having a clam shell, but I did not want to burn my arms anymore. So, Rakoma actually sent me their white toner printer, which comes with this heat press, which you can also buy by itself. And so, I wanted to make a video just for the heat press because, first of all, I might lose you right here, but it's the San Francisco Giants colors. So, winning, but um, it is insane. I was like, okay, it's a heat press, it's gonna be big, I get it. No, I'm literally obsessed with it. I don't know if you can hear it. It makes this pulsating buzzing sound. Only flaw I have found. <laughs> I can live with it. Um, but it's just because it's surging energy into it and it needs a lot of power. So that's what it is doing. It's a 16 by 20 plate and it is awesome. My, um, one of my favorite things is that this pulls out completely. So like I just said, I used to burn my arms, but I can work on this thing completely sideways and steer clear of the plate pretty good. So this thing, also can pull out and not fall over. Like it is a heavy duty heat press. And the thing with the cheap heat presses is if they weren't heavy, which was kind of a pro, they'd fall over as soon as you would swivel them or pull piece out or you'd have to drill them into something. I know the five in one you do, um, it has holes so that you can mount it to the top of your table, but who wants to drill holes in their table, right? So this guy is, amazing um it's swivel it doesn't swivel it's a clamshell and i really really love that but there are a couple other things i'm obsessed with about it one of the things being we will just close this really quick and i'll talk to you guys for a minute about some of the things so it has this really cool i mean it's a, it's a standard knob for the pressure so you manually set your pressure it's a magnetic closure which is so cool because you're gonna see why it's so cool in a second to have this really cool feature that you're about to see in less than a minute. Absolute favorite thing about it is the touch screen. You guys know we have dealt with the beep, 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 beep for every single degree that we want it to get into and I'm over it. <laughs> like if I would need to go from 300 degrees to 400 degrees, I don't wanna have to press a button a hundred times and listen to a hundred beeps. And if that's the worst of our problems, we are doing good. I know it's scary because my pressure's on high, but it literally opens itself. It opens itself and it beeps at the last three seconds. Also the touch screen being able to change not only my time, but my temperature just by typing it in is game changer. It doesn't have the Teflon on the top, so you do need to use a Teflon. I'm looking at the difference between this one and my five in one and I'm like, what are the differences? Um, my five in one, I'm still loving for like the mug press attachment and then, um, and then the little plate attachments like the four, it's turned now into a four in one for me because this is gonna replace the actual press part for me. I'm really obsessed with this and I can't even wait to do like sublimation on it because it's so big. I can do so many things at once. And guys, I have the 15,000, which means it prints 13 by 19, which means I can put the whole sheet on this heat press. This is my first white toner project. So I was shook at how good it turned out. I love that it has a little mistake on it because we cannot ever not make mistakes, right? So if you're interested in learning more about the white toner printer, I have a whole series coming on that or that's already out. If you wanna see me use this thing more, you can watch the white toner printer series. You can watch anything I come out with on sublimation pretty soon. Anything I use my Cricut for will probably include this thing. So this guy, he's going to be, he needs a name. What should we name him? I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video and welcome to my family. This amazing 
heat press that just makes me want to go make a bazillion things right now. All right, bye.